Hi guys, welcome to Techie Ocean. In this tutorial, we'll see how to detect the changes in the property of an object using do check. So in the previous tutorial, we have already implemented on changes. So we were passing just two simple models from the parent control to the child component. We were just passing two models. One was a simple model and second was the object of a type class. So what used to happen is whenever the simple model used to change in the parent, the child component used to know it by using the change detection. But when the object property or the property in the object of the class used to change in the parent control, then the child component was unable to detect the change in the property of an object using change detection. So to overcome this problem of detecting the changes in the properties, we will implement do check. So you can see here, this is the example from the previous tutorial. So we just have minded two models in these text boxes. This is the parent control and this is the child control. So in the parent control, we are just binding simple model. And in the second text box, we are binding the property of an object. So this is an object and this is its property. So the problem here you can see that whenever the model changes, simple model changes, you can see it is detecting the changes. What is the current value and what is the previous value? But when I change the property of the object, you can see here, that time it is not detecting the changes. Now this is just a display purpose. I'm talking about this. In the log you can see that the changes in the property are not detected because these changes are happening in the property of that object or not to the direct model. So we'll just see the code which was written in the previous tutorial. So you can see here we just had a simple app.component HTML. Here we were just hosting the parent component. This was our parent component. where there was just two text boxes you can see here as i showed here two text boxes that's it so first text boxes was binded with a simple model a simple variable and the second text boxes was binded with the property of an object okay so what what are these models car type and car dot name we'll just see in the parent control you can see we just have two models, car of type car. This is a class of type car and we just had a name property inside it. And second was just a simple model car type. So we are just focused on these two, these two models and changes which are happening to them. And inside this, we just have hosted a child control. That is this. Now what happened whenever we are changing something in the HTML of the parent control, that is we are changing something in the parent control, then the hosted child control should know the changes. So what we were doing in the parent HTML, we were just passing that object of car and the simple model car type through the input property of this child. Okay, this was the parent control till here and after that we were just hosting the child control here and we are just passing these two models which we are changing in the text box here. And let's see in the child control, we were implementing the on changes. So what, what was happening here, we are just receiving the car object and the car type object from the parent control text boxes. And after implementing the ng on changes, we were able to do a for loop on those changes and see what were the properties which are changing. So this is a simple log where we were just displaying the current value and previous value. That is here, the current value and previous value. So as I said, whatever changes we are doing to the car type, it is reflected, but whenever we are changing this property of an object, it's not reflecting. It's unable to detect it using ng on changes. So to handle this or to overcome this drawback, 
we are you are going to use do check so we are just focus on these two models one is an object and other other one is a simple model so let's replace this with do check so all the changes which we are doing we are doing it in the child component you can see here we are just hosting this child component in the parent component nothing else and we are just passing these two models from parent inside this child component so that the child components know that something is changed in the parent so we just have to work on this that is changing that is change detection on the property of an object so let's go to the child class so first thing we'll do is we'll just import the do check from angular core now after that we'll just replace this on changes with do check class now you can see here it is throwing an error because in that case we will have to implement the method of do check here we were implementing ng on changes this is for on changes class so we'll just comment this now we'll just implement the ng do check so you can see the error has gone or i will just simply remove this so you can see here we just have a simple log changes array of string where we are displaying the messages that's it previous value current value or whatever changes are happening that we are displaying so i'm just going to have three variables change detection now remember we are going to write our customized logic for do check since the on changes class was unable to detect it so we are using do check for writing our customized logic so change detection will be a flag old car name will be the old value of this car property of the car and the old car type will be the old value of car type okay i will just write here that when this dot car dot name that is whatever object i am receiving from the parent that model value if it's not equal to the value which is stored here the old value of the car that means something has changed so in that case i will simply write this dot change detected equal to true that is the flag will be true that something has changed i will also push the values in the log that do check car name change from this value to this value from this value so this is the new value and this was the old value of car name so you can see here this is the property of object this is not a simple model which we are passing this is the property of the object which we are passing here see this is the property not the object this is a simple model and this is the property of an object as a model so i am just checking here that the if the current value is same as the previous one if it's not matching that means something has changed and again i will set the old name as the current name that is the current value of the property of the object and i am just displaying that the car name has changed to this from this old value okay now this was for the property of the object now i'll just write a simple code for the simple model that is car type now you can see here here also i'm just writing this dot car type car type is nothing but this input property which we are receiving from the parent so anything changes in the car type now the child will know that this dot car type if it's not equal to the old value of the car type this variable that means something has changed so change detection is true and i'm just logging this information that car type has changed to this 
value that is the current value from the previous value that is old value of the card type this variable and then I will just set the latest value to the old variable okay I, I will also have some simple variables old log length and no change count this is just for display purpose this logic is not that important so first I'm just checking this dot change detected and I'm just setting this no change count as zero so this will happen only in case something is changing if something is not changing I'm just displaying that do check called so and so times when there was no change in car name that is sometimes we are just clicking on the text box without any change then in that case this this will be called this is just for logging into the log array that's it nothing else finally I will just write this dot change detected equal to false after this so main logic is here only here itself we are checking the property of the object is changed or not through this logic this is important which we are declaring which we are implementing in ng do check rest of the things are just for display here I am just going to empty this this reset function is called here this is just to reset so in the parent control there was a reset function we are just resetting the car object and the simple model and we are just letting this child know by calling the reset function of this child that's it nothing else this is just to reset so if I run this let's see that how the property changes in the object is been detected now which was not been detecting previously oh I will just change the heading okay so you can see here that when I just press F5 the log is printed here do check car name change to Ford from empty that is you can see this was called as this name is not same as the old car name because this variable is empty so this was called that the car name was changed from Ford that is the property property of an object has changed from this to this similarly car type that is a simple type this was changed from this to this because this logic was foiled and finally when there is no change that time this was logic was found that no do check called so and so time when no change to so and so so if I change something now to the value of SUV S you can see this do check car type change from SUVs from SUV so this was the latest value now I will just change it again now as you see I clicked on the car dot name text box this do check was called one time when there was no change now in this case there was no change again so you can see here that even when there is no changes then also it is called so now if I change something in the car name that is a property of the object you can see that it is directly detected so in this way we can use the do check class for overcoming the shortcomings of on changes class so in this way we have seen that we can use do check for understanding and detecting the changes in the properties of an object which was not happening in case of on changes so in this type of scenarios you can use do check so that's it guys thanks for watching
kindly subscribe like or share